You heard Vladimir say that the Jehovah's Witnesses believe that Jesus Christ is a creation of the Father. Jesus is the first creation of Jehovah God. In Jehovah's Witness theology, the Father alone is Jehovah. Jehovah is the Father. The two terms are synonymous. Jehovah's Witnesses are taught that Jehovah is the Father, the Father is Jehovah, and there is no one else who is Jehovah. Are you with me there? They do not believe that the Father is omnipresent because they believe the Father possesses a spiritual body, a body of some sort. It's a spiritual body. So they believe that the Father, because he possesses a spiritual body, is limited to the dimensions of time, space, and place. Right? <clears throat> so he's not omnipresent. And he also has what we call selective omniscience. Selective omniscience. Now, I came up with that term. Some would call it selective foreknowledge, I guess, right? But it's selective omniscience. What do I mean by that? Although Jehovah, they tell you his wisdom, his understanding is infinite and perfect, and in that sense, omniscient, he can choose not to know certain things. He can choose not to know certain things, right? So that's why I said selective omniscience. Now, that's a contradiction in terms. If you're omniscient, you know everything. If you choose not to know certain things, then how are you, how are you omniscient? But even in choosing not to know certain things, you must know the things you choose not to know, right? You see the contradiction, the paradox there? You see the confusion? Do you understand what they believe? Even the Father is different from the Father that we believe in and worship. Their Father is not the Father that we worship and adore, because their Father... God the Father, has a spirit body, so he's not omnipresent, and he can choose not to know certain things, thereby veiling his omniscience, right? So even their view of God the Father is not our view. Now, they then believe that Jehovah God the Father created Jesus Christ as the first spirit creature. This is why Jesus is called God's Son, because God created the Son, and in that sense, being his creator and life giver, he's his Father, <clears throat> and therefore, Jesus is not just the Son of God because he was given life by the Father, from the Father. He's also the firstborn Son of Jehovah, because he's the first one that Jehovah created. Now they believe everything else was created through the Son. That the Father enabled, empowered the Son to create everything else. So the Father creates Jesus directly, and then through Jesus creates everything else. Now, Jesus in heaven was known as the Archangel Michael. When time came for Jesus to be, be born of a virgin, of his virgin mother by the power of the Holy Spirit, what happened was this. The Father took the life force of the Archangel Michael and transferred it over to the womb of Mary so that when she conceived the human being, the life force that animated that human being was the life force of the Archangel Michael. However, they do not believe that Jesus on earth was the Archangel Michael. Archangel Michael ceased to exist, and Jesus began to exist. Very weird, their theology. Very confusing, very perplexing. So Archangel Michael went from being an angel in heaven to a human being, no more, no less, with the memories of his heavenly life. Are you with me there? With the memories of his heavenly life. Now, when Jesus died, and God resurrected him, he was not resurrected as a human being. As far as the Jehovah's Witnesses were concerned, when Jesus died, he ceased to exist. So when he was resurrected, he was actually recreated. And his human body was done away with. And he was recreated as the Archangel Michael again. So in Jehovah's Witness theology, Archangel Michael exists at one point, ceases to exist, and the human Jesus takes his place with the memories of Archangel Michael, and then Jesus dies, ceases to exist, and Archangel Michael is recreated, created again. That's what they believe. You see what they believe? Because Jesus is no longer human, he's no longer Jesus the man, but the spirit creature Archangel Michael, the Archangel Michael will never return physically, bodily, because he doesn't have a physical body, nor will he return visibly to the earth, so that his second coming refers to his presence. Signs that point to his presence. That he's come not physically or visibly, but that he's come in judgment to restore God's kingdom on earth. Because he's going to remain in heaven as a spirit creature. Well, that's where it's confusing, DK man. 
If he has a spirit body, that means he has to be dwelling in some place, right? So in their view, Jehovah God, who has a spirit body, was dwelling in nothingness because he existed before this place called heaven. No lively stone. The Nord translation nowhere supports their, their false damnable theology, right? Their, their translation actually supports that Jesus is a man in heaven. You want me to demonstrate that? Using their translation that Jesus is a man in heaven? Because one of the themes of the room, one of the purposes of this room is to equip you to be familiar with the New World Translation so that you can use their own Bible perversion against them to prove the truth of Christianity. Yes, exactly, DK Man. They are Salafi Christians because the Salafis came before them, right? Because to them, Jehovah God the Father has a spiritual body. It may be unlike anything else or anyone else, but he has a spiritual body nonetheless. Yeah, really weird, right? Really weird.